Hey guys, what's up? We are back today for a live in the Battle Factory tier. We did say we were going to be doing another live in this tier to make up for the two losses in the last episode. Now, before we get into it, I just want to mention, uh, if you did watch one of my previous videos, my update video, I was laddering to make it into the PWM, the Pokemon World Majors, and we have made it. We are part of a team known as the Machoke City. And Ma Choke City, there are three A's in the uh, in the title, in the name. So we are going to be playing the SBL-like uh, tournament, and it's going to be really fun. I uh, already met the other uh, players in my team. Uh, seem really cool. Everybody's uh, really nice, and uh, they were really impressed by my uh, my my videos first of all, and by my uh, my skill in the OU tier. I don't think I'm the best. I don't think I'm anywhere near the best, uh, but I think I do pretty well. Uh, considering so yeah so that's going to be starting up really soon hopefully we'll be able to get uh, to get all those battles recorded I might even record my teammates battles so I'll probably mention that in the next update video as well which should be coming in about a week week and a half from now so hopefully we don't start before then but either way we're just going to jump into this live uh, we got Battle Factory once again here and uh, really stoked to try to get us uh, some wins as I can see we are in the Ubers tier so not my favorite tier if we remember from the uh, from the last one. Uh, things are taking quite a while to load here. Whoa, what's going on here? Okay, it's never lagged out this much. Uh, let me try to quit Skype here. Let's see if that's gonna help at all. Uh, but our uh, our team consists of Arceus Poison, uh, Deoxys, if I could just get these things to load. Uh, that'd be awesome, but uh, anyway, when we get into the battle, we should be okay. Uh, we got Arceus Poison with Defog, we have uh, Deoxys, this is, seems to be uh, see, speed, Deoxys, it definitely is speed, but it seems to be a lead. Uh, Palkia with Choice Specs, that's awesome, we can hit everything pretty hard. What does he have? He has an Arceus, an, a Deoxys speed of his own, that's awesome. Uh, we also have Life Orb Shaman, this thing is Serene Grace, and it flinches everything, which is awesome, I love having that. Uh, Genesect Choice Scarf, which is also another potential lead. We could lead with that to counter lead his Greninja or his Deoxys speed. I believe we are. No, we are not faster than his Deoxys speed. Hmm. Uh, no, we are. We are. We are. Uh, no, I'm calculating this all wrong. We're not. We're not. <laughs> uh, we're going to lead with our own Deoxys speed, most likely. We have, we've also got a uh, Mega Mawile here. Uh, putting a little bit of work on that. Uh, on the Palkia, possibly. On the. Uh, definitely on the Latios, so. Uh, we'll lead Deoxys, as he probably will as well. Uh, we've been talking for a little while, so <laughs> here goes. Um, I don't know if he's going to want to set up rocks. He probably is, actually. Uh, I'm just going to taunt him to prevent him from setting up rocks. Uh, screen shook for a second there. I don't know why this is lagging so badly. Uh, maybe it's because I'm uploading a video at the same time. That's probably what it is. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so that's going to end very soon. He's going to get taunted. He was trying to set up a rock polish, so we're going to prevent that. Uh, I'm actually just going to go for the Stealth Rocks here, and then on the following turn, we are Light Clay, so we'll be able to keep up a uh, Reflect for 8 turns. He is physical, and that's going to grant us a uh, free switch into either, I would say, <coughs> Arceus, or, uh, well, Arceus is poison, so maybe not the best move, but uh, Palkia. Palkia seems pretty good. Uh, he is Primal, so I would have to fire off a Spatial Run or a Draco Meteor. Uh, but nothing really comes in on a spatial run, honestly, unless he's Arceus uh, Fairy. So, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go Palkia, and we're going to fire off a huge spa uh, spatial run. Has a high critical hit ratio, too, so this should do a lot of damage. Groudon is very bulky, obviously. Primal got Groudon especially, so uh, might take this rather well. He actually takes 80%. That's huge. And he goes for Dragon Claw. That's only going to do 45 because of the Reflect. So we get off another spatial run. Granting we hit, of course, because it is 95% accurate. And uh, we do, so down goes Groudon, that's great. That opens the door for Palkia to go for Hydro Pump later. Uh, but Spatial Run might just be the all-around best move to go for anyway, so we'll see. Uh, what's our speed, actually? 328, okay. So we are a base 100, I believe. He goes into his own Palkia. Uh, obviously, he can lock himself into a Dragon move as well, if he has Specs, of course. Uh, I can go Ma Mawile here, and... Uh, uh, and suck up the Thunder Wave that he's going to go for. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm just going to throw off a Play Rough here. Nothing really wants to switch into this. He's going to go for Fire Blast. That is not going to take us out. And we are going to get off the Play Rough. And Palkia goes straight down. So now we can even Sucker Punch something, which is great. If he goes Deoxys Speed, I might reconsider uh, Sucker Punching. But anything else, what, what kind of Arceus is this? Fire, okay. Uh, so I think we pretty much have to Sucker Punch here on his Fire move. Uh, good news is we can go back in on the Palkia after he actually chooses to go for Earth Power. Good play. 
And uh, I can either go... I think Shaman might be a good play because I can Earth Power. And then I outspeed the rest of his team barring Deoxys speed. So that might be my play. And I can even Healing Wish up my Palkia later. So that's really cool. I like this team. Uh, we're going to go into Shaman. And we are just going to fire off an Earth Power. I'm not 100% sure it kills though. Uh, as it does. Okay, great. So we are Life Orb, of course, so that increases the power a little bit. He's going to go into his Greninja. I don't know if this is Scarfed. Uh, potentially could be. We are Quad Weak to Ice. So I am going to go into my Genesect just to play it safe. We are going to get an attack boost as he's going to go for Scald. Uh, turns into Water type, does a little bit of damage, but uh, he uh, does not burn us, which is great. Because his entire team is weak to U-turn. Obviously, this thing isn't right now because it is uh, it is turned into a water type and only a water type. But I can still U-turn. It's going to do a tremendous amount of damage. It's actually just going to take it clean out. I didn't expect that, but uh, I guess I am a plus one Genesect. So, yeah, Greninja's very frail. So, I don't know why I expected anything else. Now, what I can do is I can actually go into Arceus just to bait, his in, bait in his Deoxys so that I can then go into my Genesect and U-turn on it. I'm expecting it to be a very similar set to my own. Uh, then again, it could be an offensive set. So uh, it chooses to go Latios instead. Not too bad. We still have Genesect and we can U-turn on this thing. And I believe its physical defense is lower, so we are going to get an, an increase in physical attack. I'm just going to Thunder Wave in case he has some kind of setup. As he does not, he just goes for Psy Shock, which is great. We live that, definitely. Uh, and uh, now I can just go for Poison Jab, weaken this thing, and uh, put it in range of uh, pretty much anything else I want to go for. So I am just going to go into Genesect, and I'm just going to U-turn, as I said before, leaving him with only Deoxys, and if it was Focus Sash, we broke its Sash because of the rocks. What I'm going to do here is actually just go into Palkia. It's my hardest hitter, and I do, I do believe it can live any one hit. As he actually forfeits, so that's going to be... I'm going to drop a GG. That's going to be a game. So we took a game in Ubers. So that's great. Make it up for the last time. Uh, we're going to try to get another game right away. Battle Factory is pretty popular. It's late, as usual, but uh, we got another one right away, so that's great. Uh, this is the UU tier. Uh, he does have a spinner in Dawn Fan. What do I have as hazards here? I have Toxic Spikes... I do not have st I do have Stealth Rock actually on uh, Metagross, and Metagross can lead against pretty much everything except for Chandelure, because we are Shooka Berry, so we can lead against the uh, the Flygon and the Dawn Fan. So I think that's what I might do. Alternatively, I don't really want him setting up his own rocks for free. Uh, we do have a Rapid Spinner, but I think our best lead is Tentacruel, because he leads Mianxia, which is great. We can take any one hit from this thing, including a knockoff, and potentially burn it. So I am just going to fire off a Scald here. I'm assuming he's going to U-turn, but he chooses to knock off instead, which is great. He is Life Orb, and he's going to take a huge hit from Scald. I'm assuming he's Regenerator uh, and not Reckless. Then again, he could be. Um, what I'm thinking here is his switch would probably be into Dragalge. Uh, Dragalge. Uh, so I'm going to go for a knockoff as he's going to Paton Pass. Probably going to predict my Scald again, and either go into Heliolisk or into Dragalge to eat it up. And we're going to get a knockoff on something, and uh, that's going to be that. So we'll see what he wants to do. And personally, uh, I would go... I would go Dragalge, because it takes the least amount of damage, and you don't risk me going for another move on your Heliolisk, so... Um, and Heliolisk does not want to be weakened against this team. Aerodactyl uh, can Oko it after... Uh, if it drops to about 60-50%. He's actually going to choose to go to Dragalge, so good play on his part. Uh, as we can... What can we do? Uh, what I actually want to do is... We are specially defensive, so I'm going to fire off Toxic Spikes right here. Just because his Dragalge is already in. So if he switches into anything but Flygon, which he cannot right now because he Dragon Tailed me into Noivern, it's going to get poisoned. So I'm just going to fire off a Draco Meteor here and knock out his Dragalge. So now our Toxic Spikes are here to stay. Of course, his Dawn Fan can still spin them away. Um, do we have a Ghost type? No, we do not. But that's fine. We still kept our Tentacruel. So uh, I, I personally would have gone for a Draco and just gotten damage off on something with Dragalge and left it alive. Not risked uh, me actually staying in. So uh, he chooses to go Dawn Fan right away. That's perfectly fine. I don't really want to stay in here. Uh, I'd rather go back into Tentacruel. 
uh, as we can get up our, we can actually get off a spin on this thing, and now that it's poisoned, if it wants to spin, uh, it's going to be wasting time and wasting health, so I am just going to spin, I don't care if he knocks me out, uh, as he chooses to go for Earthquake, which is perfectly fine. I can now go right back out into my Noivern and drop another Draco Meteor, and as you can see, nothing on his team wants to take it. He chooses to go for Ice Shard, that's not going to knock us out, and we are going to land the Draco, getting rid of his Spinner, so now everything's getting poisoned. Uh, we can still keep Noivern, uh, as it does outspeed Mian Xiao. It pretty much outspeeds his whole team, actually. So, are we Life Orb? Were we taking Life Orb hits? We were, okay. So, Mian Xiao ch chooses to come in. Uh, I'm just gonna go hard into Metagross here, because uh, I can take the Fake Out, which I'm assuming... I actually chooses to go for knockoff, so good play on his part. Uh, I could have Hurricane there and knocked him out, but... Uh, regardless, it's not a big deal. I didn't really need Metagross for anything. Uh, didn't handle anything really well actually because we are 230 speed so Chandelure outspeeds us so does Flygon and Heliolisk if it's specs does a tremendous amount of damage so what I'm going to do here is just get off damage with Bullet Punch and we're actually going to crit him and knock him out so we get to keep our Metacross not that we need it but uh, I think he's kind of forced into Heliolisk here which is great because we're going to get it poisoned uh, and if he's not Scarfed uh, we actually have a, a hard check to this uh, being Rotom uh, if he chooses to lock himself into an electric move. So I'm just going to bullet punch to get off some damage uh, as he is going to volt switch. So he can go Flygon here. His Flygon could potentially have defog. This is Battle Factory. Anything is possible. So we uh, we can't just count him out yet. But uh, again, we can just go Noivern and drop another Draco Meteor on something. So we had a heavy uh, team advantage due to speed. Uh, he had a lot lower speed. We haven't even brought out Aerodactyl yet. So... Uh, I'm just going to go, do I have anything with a nice type move? This has Hidden Power Grass, so we're going to have to rely on hitting another Draco. Uh, I don't like doing that, but that's what we're going to do anyway. So we're going to be able to get rid of the Flygon or potentially anything else. I would love it if he, sw if he switches into Chandelure, that thing is a threat. Uh, he's actually Scarf Flygon and he goes for an Outrage, uh, which is perfectly fine as I can... Actually, this is a little bit problematic now that I look at it. Um... Yeah, he's locked in outrage. This is gonna, this is gonna hurt my team. Um, what can I do here to him? Espeon has no defense. Uh, Aerodactyl has some, but uh, what has more HP? Espeon does, so it comes out to about the same thing. Uh, Rotom technically has the highest defense out of everybody, but he can't hit back really. So this is a, uh, this is a little bit of a problem. I didn't expect him to be Scarf Flygon. Uh, we might end up uh, potentially losing this game, but. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to, I think, weaken him with Aerodactyl. Espeon outspeeds the rest of his team uh, and can knock them out. What do I have? I have Stored Power and Hidden Power Fighting. Ooh, this is not good. Uh, not good at all. Uh, do I need to keep a Rotom alive? Well, Rotom doesn't do much. I'm going to go Arrow. I'm running out of time here anyway, so. Uh, and I'm just going to fire off a Stone Edge. No, 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 no. Uh, Aerial Ace is my strongest move, right? Uh, it stabs, so it goes to 90. Uh, it's the same as Aqua Tail, but it always hits. So yeah, I'm just going to go for Aerial Ace. Hopefully his Outrage isn't able to knock us out. Uh, I don't think it is, because Flygon's pretty weak. And he's a Scar variant, so he's he's probably uh, he's probably jolly. So uh, He's going to go for Outrage. He's going to do 60%. He gets confused on this turn, which is great, uh, as we're going to get off a clean 53%. And if you could just hit yourself in Confusion, that would be really great. Uh, because then I wouldn't lose the game, as he does. So we're safe there. Uh, kind of playing off of a little bit of hacks, but uh, he's going to forfeit, so... Whew, okay, I got really scared. I, did, I didn't even consider Scarf Flygon. I considered Scarf Chandelure, but uh, I really thought his Flygon was, uh, was just like a defog set or something. But Battle Factory often does that to you. It gives you two of the same... Uh, basic utility mons uh he would have had a, a rapid spinner and a defogger but regardless we didn't uh, did we even get to see if his uh no we didn't get to see if his uh if his dawn fan was rapid spin so uh rock stayed up the whole game uh did they did my spike did my toxic spice stay up the whole game yeah i believe it did so uh i don't even know if his dawn fan had rapid spin ha rapid spin to begin with so uh, I'm going to try to get another game here, and uh, this one's taking a little bit longer, so I'll pause until we get it one, and I'll be right back, guys. Alright, and we uh, we got one, guys, and uh, you can't see it, but there's a Mew right there behind the Econ Kelder. Its big cement block is, uh, is blocking it from view, but this is actually a really bulky team, and I feel like it's going to be very annoying to deal with. However, we do have a Mega Metachamp, <laughs> so, and a Halucha, so we're not too bad. 
Uh, as long as his Altaria doesn't get him up a Dragon Dance, I think we're okay. We also have Weavile, so uh, I think what I'm going to do is actually lead with our... Ooh, Choice Scarf Garchomp. Okay. Okay, I see you. Um, now, you know what? Let's lead Ferrothorn. Uh, as he chooses to lead Victini, which was what I was expecting. Uh, but I don't mind too much because that means I can just go Lottie and then drop a Draco on something. Uh, alternatively, I could go into Garchomp, but we don't take a V-Create very well. We're not defensive. Uh, what are we? We're leftovers on this thing. Yeah, I'm just going to go Lottie. Lottie's fine as he chooses to go Mew, uh, so that's okay. I don't know why he would choose to switch out his Victini on turn one, but uh, I can already see what kind of player this guy is. Uh, he's already making predictions turn one, so... Uh, we're just going to drop a Draco on this. We can hit it as much as possible. That is 66, as you can see. Uh, it's a good amount, as he's going to go for a knockoff, which is perfectly fine. Uh, that means that I don't have my Life Orb anymore. Uh, but it also means I can go into Weavile right here uh, on his Roost, potentially. Soft Boiled, that's what I meant. And uh, we can either Pursuit Trap this thing or knock it off. I'm actually going to Pursuit it uh, as he chooses to stay in. Is he going to go for a Will-O-Wisp? He is. And I'm just going to knock off here. Uh, and potentially get an item off of something. Uh, I'd love to get that chance he's Eevee Light off, but uh, I don't think that's ever going to happen. As he chooses to stay in with his Mew, we get rid of his leftovers uh, as he goes for a Soft Boiled. And I don't really want my Weavile to go down here. Do we have Healing Wish? No, we do not. Um, what I'm going to do is go into Ferrothorn. I don't care if he's Soft Boiled. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm just going to st set up some rocks here. Uh, I really want to weaken that Victini, that Altaria, that's perfectly okay. I'm just going to Leech Seed this thing so that it can't just stay in on me infinitely. Uh, he's going to Defog as I'm going to get off the Seeds, and I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks again. Uh, he's not weakening me at all. He's the standard Mew set, so I should have knocked off the first time around. Unfortunately, uh, I really thought he would switch there, but uh, we got our Weavile Weakened. We might lose this one. I still have Halucha and Metacham in the back, though, so it's, it's, not, it's not a lost cause yet, guys. Uh, as long as I get behind a sub, I think we have sub with Halusha, right? Uh, no, we do not. Okay, so uh, we definitely need to get rid of the Clef Key before we can start setting up. That's what that means. Uh, I'm definitely just going for Rocks here again. Uh, as he chooses to switch out into Chansey, perfectly fine. Uh, I'm just going to fire off another Leech Seed. If he wants to set up his own Rocks, that's okay. Uh, I only kept Weavile around to be able to Ice Shard the Altaria once it's weakened. So he's going to go right back out into Mew, perfectly fine once again. As I'm just going to Leech Seed again. I mean, we can we can play this game all day, man. <laughs> um, he's probably just going to Defog. This might be a longer battle than I expected. No, he chooses to go for a knockoff. Okay. Uh, was going to take damage. He's also going to get Seeded there. Uh, I'm going to predict him to go for the Defog here, I think. Uh, and go for Stealth Rocks. There we go. So we get them up. And uh, now I'm going to predict him to... Uh, he doesn't have a Psychic move, does he? No, he does not. Um, what can I go into here? I could go into Metacham while this thing is seated, and that's what I'm going to do uh, as he chooses to soft boil. So now what we can do is we can get off a fake off, uh, fake out, uh, fake out on this thing. Yeah, I completely forgot the name of the move. <laughs> We're going to get a fake out off on this thing. And now, do you take a high jump kick? Hold on a second. Physically defensive Mew. Uh, Mew, OU Defog versus Metacham. Mega Metacham, OU All Out Attacker. High Jump Kick does 43 minimum. So it is a roll. This is Jolly, though. Are we Jolly? No, we're Adamant. We are Adamant. So this is going straight down if he chooses to stay in. As he, as he does switch out, Klefki should take a lot from this. It goes straight down. Okay. All right. Well, we got rid of Klefki, so now we can sweep with Halucha. That's awesome. And uh, nothing really wants to come in on this, honestly. Do we have Thunder Punch? I think we have Thunder Punch on this set. Awesome, okay. Uh, which means we... Uh, no, I think we have Ice Punch, actually. So we can deal with the Altaria. And as long as my rocks stay up, his Victini and his Altaria are going to be taking a lot of damage. So as Altaria chooses to come in, I don't believe a an Adamant Ice Punch takes out Altaria. Altaria... Mega Altaria, where are you? Offensive Dragon Dance. Ice Punch does... Whoa. Okay. 94. Uh, are we on the Mega Set? Yeah, we are. Okay. I always get that wrong, and I always end up going on regular Altaria and think, think, think that things are going to do more than they actually should. Uh, so we are going to knock out the Altaria there with the Ice Punch. We might get three wins this episode, guys. 
uh, with random teams which are completely out of our control, but nonetheless, uh, we might get three wins. So, his Chansey dies to High Jump Kick. His Conkelder does not, I believe. Uh, Conkelder, I think it lives with a sliver. Oh, you Assault Vest. Oh, no, never mind, I didn't say anything. <laughs> it's going down. Uh, his Victini chooses to come in. I'm actually just going to go into Garchomp here, I think. Uh, let it take the rough skin uh, on the V Create, and V Create actually does nothing, so that was, uh, was unfortunate for him. Uh, I'm just going to go for Earthquake here, because I can damage the Conkelder and put it in range of another move, such as uh, Zen Headbutt, which I believe has a higher accuracy. Uh, or No, I think it's the same as a High Jump Kick, but I don't want to get damaged, so his Conkelder is going to come in. It's going to take an Earthquake. Uh, what I'm actually going to do here is sack my Weavile, I think, to be able to get back into Metacham, because I do not want his Mew coming in for free. So, it's either I sack Pharaoh here, or Lottie, uh, or I can just EQ again and hope that it takes out Mew. Not really what I want to do, though. Uh, his Mew doesn't have a Psychic-type move, though. We already went over that. So, Halucha can definitely put in a lot of damage on it. Uh, and then it can sweep. So yeah, I'm just going to go for EQ again. He's going to mock Punch anyway. So I uh, just want to check out Garchomp. I know I'm running a lot of Calyx on this last game. But uh, I just got to check for the Scarf set against a Mew that's physically defensive. Uh, OU Defog. Earthquake does 40 to 47. So we actually do take it out. That's awesome. Uh, so if he brings in Victini, I sack my Latias. He chooses to go Chansey and he forfeits. So uh, that's going to be another game. One right there. Uh, I would normally do a fourth one at 21 minutes, but I think that's enough. Uh, we got we got the three wins that we wanted, guys. We just wanted to make up for the two losses in the last episode, so uh, we definitely did that, and I'm really happy. So uh, move up a little bit on the ladder, not by much. I'm only at 1311. Uh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna play this a little bit on the side and uh, see how high I can get, and uh, maybe bring it back when we're in the 1500s. How high is the uh, is the ladder for? for Battle Factory. Let's see, where are we here? There it is. And let's see where the uh, ladder caps out. It's 1631, so uh, I might try to get into top 100 on this ladder, honestly. Uh, 1311, I don't think I'm in top uh, 15, uh, 500 yet. No, I'm not. It ends at uh, 1375 down here. But uh, regardless, uh, I think I'm yeah, I think I'm gonna play some games on the side. But that's gonna be it for today, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. It really helps me know that you guys are are enjoying the content. Obviously, uh, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you have any suggestions, don't forget to leave them in the comments down below. And that's about it. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Ciao.